before we go into the market and the stocks, we have one more local news to share. Despite worries about the impending huge losses from the proposed rights pledging scheme by the government, reaffirmed that it would go ahead with the subsidy program as it would help alleviate poverty and balance the kingdom. Speaking during a meeting with rice traders, farmers and government officials in preparation for the pledging project, Kittirat Naranon, the Deputy Prime Minister and Commerce Minister, shared that the scheme is a serious attempt by the government to solve the poverty problem. He said the government is confident that the rice pledging program will create higher income for farmers rather than huge losses as believed by some parties, saying the subsidy will increase spending. Former Finance Minister Pridi Yaton Tewakun and prominent economist Dr. Amma Sayamwala of the Thailand Development Research Institute have both warned of huge losses and high corruption under the pledging project. They question who would be responsible for the losses under the pledging project while rice exports would drop considerably as importers would not accept the steep rise in the price of Thai rice. Kitirat said that he would soon meet Brady Yaton and Amma to explain the government's decision to proceed with the pledging program and ways to ensure transparency and prevent corruption. To ensure export growth, Kitirat said the government has negotiated with many rice importing countries to release government stockpiles in the future. The government prefers to sell rice under government to government contracts. When asked about Thailand's decision to cancel the sale of 300,000 tons of rice to Indonesia, Kitirat explained the Thai government has already explained its position to Indonesia. He said there may be renegotiations for the selling rice at a new price as the previous price offered was too low. He added that the government would carefully consider releasing rice from its stockpiles but would maintain steady supply as it would affect the market price. However, Kitirat said that although export volumes would be down less than 10 million tons this year, the value would go up due to their high price after pledging. So far, Thai rice prices have increased continuously from last week at 16 baht, uh, I'm sorry, 16,500 baht to 17,500 baht per ton for 5% white rice while jasmine rice price has been unchanged at 31,500 baht to 32,500 baht per ton. Kitirat said the government is confident that rice price will continue to increase after the pledging project gets underway on October the 7th. And definitely the one of the stories we just mm. told mm. is about the trading of rice from Thailand to Indonesia, mm -hmm. which uh, is there's an agreement signed to sell Thai rice of a total of 300,000 tons, tons mm -hmm. to Indonesia. But yes. there may be some issues of cancellation by the government. So we are going to talk to the Indonesia ambassador to Thailand, His Excellency Mohammad Hatta. Welcome to the program. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Hello from Singapore. How is the weather over there? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm on the way down transit in the Singapore and uh -huh. going back to Bangkok. Yeah. Right. It's okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mr. Mohammed, you're now speaking to Onganan and Wina here. Uh, uh -huh. Regarding the 300,000 tons of rice agreement between uh, Bullock and uh, the public warehouse organization, now is uh -huh. there any sign of improvement uh, regarding the cancellation of the deal by the, co the Thai Commerce Ministry? No, no. There's a, until this time, mm -hmm. uh, there, there is no cancellation on any deal. We are mm -hmm. waiting. We are waiting for the uh, what the Excellency Kitirat said to me. They, they try to discuss further with the Prime Minister in this case because uh, uh, what we are doing that the uh, Indonesian embassy, I mean, just make the bridge, just give the facilitations between uh, Budok on one side and uh, PWO at that, and another side. Mm -hmm. That is on the umbrella of MOU of the uh, two countries between Indonesia and Thailand. We already met this, uh, we organized this MOU year by year. So for this year, 2011, uh, both sides agreed and 
uh, Thailand will uh, export to us around one million a ton mm. uh, for this year. Uh, we haven't uh, this uh, this amounts. I mean, so, uh, on the maybe uh, 20 or 30 percent we take it from this. But now, Indonesia need for uh, our stock. We call it for emergency stock. Mm -hmm. uh, during the September until the end of this year, until December. So uh, at the time, the um, uh, former Minister of Commerce said uh, at this time uh, he hasn't the new crops. So only PW have the new crop at the time. So uh, the minister please us to forward, uh, take a forward to the PWO. But in Indonesian side, uh, even we know that PWO under the Minister of Commerce, but we need, after everything is clear, signed both sides between the PWO and Bullock, we need approval uh, from the Minister of Commerce. Mm. Yeah. So, but because the dealing take time, around two months, like that. So uh, when the dealing is finished, the contract already set up, uh, and that at that time, the government already changed. Right. From Indonesian side, the government change is that that it just doesn't mean to change everything. Yeah. So, so the agreement is, uh, still has to stand. Yeah, the, the, the agreement just uh, there. That's only only about three hundred. Uh, uh, it is I mean ton. Mm -hmm. It's nothing maybe. Yeah, but for us for Indonesia, it is uh, uh, it is uh, 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 it is very helpful. Yeah, because uh, we need for. Uh, uh, make sure everything about our stock. Right. Yeah. Mm. That we call it emergency, emergency stock. So we don't agree if some suddenly because the changing of the government, everything change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, now uh, I have the already have the new uh, scheme uh, of the uh, rise, but for the dealing we have sets. Yeah. Even approval is not signed there, but the meaning in the papers. And also the spirit of ASEAN, mm -hmm. we must sit together for uh, ASEAN. But because Indonesian side also now, we also have to for what the Thailand needed. Yeah, for example, well, the LNG at the time, one of for, or one of the pipe broken. We all the same also we, with the brother price, one uh, one tanks, yeah, mm -hmm. or one ship, I mean tanker, one tanker at the time. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. But now I'm we just were waiting. Uh, when I came back, I already uh, met with my commerce minister, and also uh, uh, we discussed further about if in this the very difficult time for it, for us because the with what we call is the uh, uh, it is the safe uh, the safe uh, uh, the, the safety uh, warehouse yeah I mean, mm -hmm. for this. So in this difficult time, that we, we, we well, let we me interrupt you a little bit here. Uh, with, with well, okay. So when is the next talk with the commerce minister going to come up? Uh, I think maybe hopefully this next week. Mm -hmm. Probably next, next week. week. We so, already mm -hmm. spend our letters to Excellency Secretary. Hopefully, uh, he has time for sit together, and also we can uh, discuss further as a brothers. Yeah, mm -hmm. that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What what if the deal is cancelled at this point? Or how is it going to affect the uh, food sufficiency in Indonesia? And um, do you have plans to import from any other countries, like you said, India, maybe? Uh, yeah, we try. We can, but, uh, if yeah, if mm. uh, if Thailand at the time we have the problem about the uh, price, it, it, especially uh, for the term between the. Uh, September, October until December, because it is for the emergency stock for us. Yeah, I mm -hmm. hope and Thailand can understand. If we now uh, invite the private, private sector, uh, most of them also can uh, sense uh, us the price with this price. But we need time for uh, binding. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for binding. So uh, this is maybe same with with uh, India maybe yeah but I don't know uh, my minister already tried to contact with the India if uh, uh, something happened with 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 Thailand we already uh, both year by year yeah 
with yeah. the umbrella of MOU for the two countries, That's and right. also the, the yeah the uh, 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 within the, the meeting between the ASEAN leaders mm -hmm. also has discussed about the uh, stocks and the crisis stocks of rice of for ASEAN that that. Mm -hmm. So this this the spirit. Well, we we cannot uh, discount like mathematic, yeah. Uh, and this mm -hmm. must 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 uh, with this. Uh, 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 with, I can understand because the new scheme it is also uh, 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 with this uh, the message from the peoples, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, from Thailand. I understand, but for the deal what we have already made. Uh, yeah, even it is uh, the minister at that time, the foreign minister, have not a power again. It is not the meaning that the new minister cannot sign. Mm. This is special case, I think. Special case. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, when the next week I met with I, uh, it was uh, the minister of Iraq. Minister also is a good person. He understand, but he has the problem with the what the. Uh, the deal uh, happens, yeah, in the mm. in, in, in So, now. Mr. Mohammed, uh, as Indonesia is also the share of ASEAN, now how would the country uh, try to resolve this uh, trade agreement in harmony? So that's why uh, I think the Minister Kitirat at the time also told me mm -hmm. that uh, he want to meet with uh, our Minister of Commerce as the chair of the Commerce Minister in ASEAN. Uh, I will be uh, convey his message to my minister. Hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, in the, the end of this month, we can arrange the meeting between uh, uh, both ministers of commerce, yeah, mm -hmm. in, in Jakarta. In Jakarta, uh, we can so maybe because this is new government, maybe many depending issues mm -hmm. we can uh, bring to the tables and uh, try to look together. Uh, what is this? Uh, so take time for this, baby. But for this, this, this about the the, the deal <laughs> about the rice, because this this crisis stock, yeah, for the months between October until December. So I hopefully uh, hope uh, the government side can understand about our problem here mm -hmm. that we have already said. Uh, Right. Uh, may, may I request uh, one last input from you? Um, it's usually a deal. This is the deal between Bulog and PWO. Is that right? And uh, it's usually the PWO's uh, deal to, to deal with the local rise, but not the international rise. But uh, what you usually deal with the Department of Foreign Trade. So has the Department of Foreign Trade given any um, confirmation before the deal was signed? Uh, the problem, because at that time, when we bring our delegate, I lead the bullock delegate to the Minister of Commerce at the time, mm -hmm. yeah, and okay. the Minister of Commerce accompany her at the time is the uh, foreign trade, the, because the new crop, they haven't stock at the time. So they, uh, they, I, we try, we try to look to the PWO. P, PWO also, the organization is under the Minister of Commerce. The MOU, yes, between the Bullock and the foreign trade. So that's why we try to try to uh, discuss with the former uh, uh, Minister of Commerce right. for approve for approval, and, uh, and it's not problem for that. It's not problem for that. But the problem only because the dealing with both sides, yeah, need take time or one month, month, one more month, uh, around two months. So that's why. The power in the former uh, minister is, is, is already finished. Mm. Cannot sign everything because this parliament said that. that. So we think to the, the new uh, minister. Okay, uh, so that's <laughs> the root of the problem, just the shift of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. well, All right. Okay, thank you very much for, for your time joining us today. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much.